So we all are going to drink this one. We all will have to leave. The only main thing is being ready before we leave. Being ready to leave so that we are not running away from our Akhirah. We are ready to go in peace Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In one of the hadiths, he advises the Ummah. Al-Kayyisu man dana nafsah wa amina lima ba'd al-mawd. Wise is a person who controls his desires. And he prepares for the life after death. وَالْعَاجِزُ مَنْ أَتْبَعَ نَفْسَهُ هَوَاهَا A loser is the one who keeps on following his desires. وَتَمَنَّا عَلَى اللَّهِ الْأَمَانِينَ And keeps on having long hopes, big hopes from Allah. Allah is غفور الرحيم and Allah is رحيم and all of these hopes that I can do whatever I want in this dunya. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to work. As Aisha رضي الله عنها once she asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about the ayah that says, وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْتُونَ مَا آتَوْا وَقُلُوبُهُمْ وَجِلَةٌ أَنَّهُمْ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ رَاجِعُونَ Those who give whatever they give, which means they spend whatever they spend, and وَقُلُوبُهُمْ وَجِلَىٰ Their hearts are afraid that one day they will be returning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She asked, Ya Rasulullah, are these the people who do a lot of wrong things in this life? And they are afraid that on the day of judgment, how are they going to face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? These are the people who have robbed people, they have, they have been involved in adultery, these type of sins, major sins, and this is why they are afraid. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, no. These are the people who do salah, who fast, who do all of the ibadah, and at the end they are afraid that what if these things are rejected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? أَنَّهُمْ إِلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ رَاجِعُونَ their heart is always afraid that one day I will be returning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What will happen to me that day? Which simply means again referring to remembering the akhirah, remembering the day when we all will be presented before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of course when the person is preparing for it, although because of our situations we may feel that I don't like to die at this time. I don't like death. But the reality is, when the time of death comes, when the time of death comes, this mu'min who have worked for the akhirah, when he sees the angel of death, and the angel of death, of course, will give the mu'min a good news. That you are going back to your Rabb who is waiting for you with his rahmah. At that time, the mu'min looks forward to leave. Now, if there is anything that stops him, anything that he feels may stop me from going, he would like to get that thing out of his way. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says when a janazah, when a person dies and the janazah is ready if there is a janazah of a mu'min he says to the people of course in a way that they can't hear but Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed us already that this is what this person wants a true mu'min he says to the people that take me quickly to my grave I can't wait to get over there let me just go over there quickly because of the good news he already has from the angel of death. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in another hadith, a mu'min, a person who lived his life of iman and amal salih surely he gets a good news from the angels before he dies. He gets that good news from the angels before he dies. And therefore, at the time of death, he is very satisfied and he looks forward to go there. So, preparation for Akhirah. We need to really prepare ourselves for it. And mainly is remind ourselves. We need to keep on reminding ourselves. Whatever I'm doing, this is a deed that I will have to face once I leave this world. And as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed us, this is a sign that our hearts have been opened for the hidayah and the nur of iman have been placed in this heart. That the world now we are taking the dunya out of this heart. Fariduddin Abtar rahmatullahi alayhi well known story, well known scholar. He was a person who used to sell perfumes. An old man entered the store and started looking around. You know, the, with the stores where they sell perfumes and medicine, they have small bottles of perfumes. So, the store is full of these bottles of perfume. 
So this old man comes in and he starts looking around. So he goes to him, can I help you? He says, no, I'm just looking around. And he keeps on looking around. He approaches him again. You have been looking for a long time. Are you looking for something specific? No, I'm just looking around. He approaches him the third time. Sir, you have been standing for a long time. Are you looking for something specific? He says, I'm just thinking about something. What are you thinking about here? I'm thinking, when you die, how is your roof going to come out of all of these bottles? There are so many bottles here. How is your roof going to come out of all of these bottles? Of course, a businessman who doesn't even want to think about Akhirah, normal situation, which is ours. So he says, what do you mean how my ruh has to come out of all of these bottles? And how I would die? Just worry about yourself. How are you going to die? 